most customers will create and manage their own accounts in your Drupal Commerce 2.x store. But there may be times when you need to edit or create an account for them. This video aims to show you the basics on how accounts can be managed. To find your customer accounts, click on the People Administrator tab. We're now looking at an overview of the user accounts on the site. From here we can add new accounts. We can search and filter through the accounts, which is useful if there are many. We can apply batch actions to accounts. The drop-down shows a list of all available actions such as blocking and unblocking users. If an action is selected, we can then apply the action. Below, we have a list of all the users on the site. This example only has a few, but in reality, there could be thousands. Some details you can see here is the username, the account status, and the account role. We can see how long our user has been a member and when they last accessed the site. Finally, if we need to edit the account, this can be done using the edit button. Let's do that now. I'll edit the example user, John Doe. We're now looking at the user's primary account details. Here we can update the email address, the username, and change the password. I should mention that the user can log in and change any of this themselves too. We can update the user's account status if for some reason we need to block the user. And finally, there are additional settings that we can look at. Once we're done with the changes, we can scroll down and save them. There's also a link to cancel the user's account if needed. Now let's look at some of the other information we can modify. At the top of the page, there are some tabs. I'll go into payment methods. We're now looking at the front end of our site, the way the customers would see their account. Payment method shows any method that is saved specifically for this user. And we can see there is one visa saved. It shows us when the card expires, and we can optionally delete the card from this account. I'll move on to the next tab. Edit would take us back to the previous, so I'll click Orders. Here we can view any past orders. Managing orders is done elsewhere, and we have a video for that too. But this page shows us some basic details for any order this customer has made. We can click the order number to jump into it. The page shows the order in a bit more detail, including the shipping and billing information, the shipping method used, and the product's purchase. I'll go back to the previous screen. Moving on, you can optionally contact the user using the form within the contact tab. But next I'll show you the user's address book. This tab shows you any address that has been saved. We see a duplicate because the customer used the same address in both billing and shipping. And currently the site saves these separately. One address is marked active. We can change that by marking another a default. Finally, we can add additional addresses using the Add New Customer link. Addresses require a first and last name, which is why the address book calls each address a customer. Let's go back and see how a new account can be made. Back in the People page. To add a new user manually, all we need to do is go up to Add User link. This page is basically the same as the first page we had seen for editing a customer's account but this time we're starting fresh. All we need to do is add an email address, username, set a password, and set the status. It's normally a good idea to check the box for notifying a user of their new account. If the setting has been checked, when the new account is saved, the user will receive an email that lets them know that an account has been made. Within the email, a one-time login link is given with a message for the user to log in and update their password. Next, we can finish configuring the new account and click the Create New Account button to save it. For this demonstration, I'm just going to go back to the previous page. Now I'll show you how the basic filters and actions work, starting with filters. If I wanted to find John Doe, but I have thousands of other accounts on this list, I can easily find him by entering his name or his email in the search filter. Clicking Filter then shows me the results. If I wanted to block this user, then I can check the box beside his name to select him. Then, all I need to do is choose the appropriate action and apply it. 
the action will be applied to any user selected. So you can apply it to multiple users. Done. This action is applied and we can now see that John Doe's account has been blocked. I'll reverse this action in a different way by editing the account. Once I've clicked onto the user's account, I can edit it under status so I can choose which option to use. Then I can save the account. There you go. The user is now active again. As you can see, it's pretty simple to manage your users however you need to do it. What you've just seen is the default Drupal and Drupal Commerce interface for user accounts management. However, additional modules and configuration can extend the functionality to make it even more robust for whatever situation you may need. Thanks for watching.